Hi everybody, Robert and Bethany here from Truly Inquisitive. Today we are going to show you our first stop at Icy Strait Point on our Quantum of the Seas 2022 Alaskan cruise. So we disembarked around 1 p.m. It was a gorgeous day, about 65 degrees out. As we crossed the bridge, on our left you can see the Norwegian Bliss, as well as a rocky beach on both sides where people were skipping rocks into the water. From here, we continued to make our way across the bridge as we enter the Adventure Center. On the left, there are restrooms, and on the right, there is a coffee bar with snacks and refreshments. Make sure to bring cash or credit card as they do not accept your CPAS card at Icy Street Point. This is also the meetup point for land shore excursions like the Jeep Backcountry and the ATV Expedition. Once outside, on our right, we could see Duck Point Smokehouse, a fire pit in the middle of the courtyard, and to our left here, a free gondola that has a huge line. Next, we went and checked out the map, and from here, we decided to go ahead and check out the cannery, the museums, the gift shops, and then make our way to the town of Huna. We took a boardwalk path down to the cannery, which was an easy, leisurely stroll. On the right, you can see an orca statue from Norwegian Cruise Line. And on the left, the oyster shack where people were sitting down and grabbing a bite to eat. We took some stairs down to the shore before we continued on the pathway to the cannery. There's a small wharf on the right and a cookhouse restaurant on the left. Upon entering the cannery, we made our way past the first retail shop and down a long hall into the main retail location slash museum. This shop is intertwined with the museum and consists of gifts, merchandise, and old cannery displays that illustrate the inner workings of the past cannery operations. We ended up spending about 45 minutes in all inside the museum slash shop. Checking out the displays, buying some souvenirs, and just pretty much enjoying ourselves. But once we were done, we decided it was time to move on and go see the town of Huna. As we walked over to the shuttle to Huna, we passed by the water excursion dock. This is where you get on a whale watching or fishing boat. From there, we also passed by the crab house, where a lot of people were enjoying crab legs and just having a good time. To the left of the crab house, there is the donut shop and the tribal dance theater, as well as a kiosk where you can buy your round trip tickets to Huna.
The shuttle has one drop-off and pick-up location next to public restrooms and is much faster than the mile and a half walk to town. As we crossed the street, we noticed a big park where we stopped to let the kids play. There's a pathway next to the park that leads down to the shore where we stop to take some pictures and enjoy the beautiful scenery. After we got done taking our pictures, we went and checked out Huna's Harbor for a little while. And then after that we decided to go ahead and go back to Isis Strait Point, check out the gondola, and then go back to the ship. We hopped on the green gondolas which were free. The red gondolas were around $60 when we went. As we exited the gondola, there was another gift shop very similar to the one at the cannery. There's also the entrance to the red gondolas which take you up the mountain to the world's largest zip line. After this, we returned to the Quantum of the Seas 